If there is a question on the screen, Barnes Corporation manufactures skateboards and is in the process of preparing next year's budget. The pro forma income statement for the current year is presented here. So we have the details uh, given. Sales are given. After that, cost of sales. In cost of sales, we have material, labor, variable overhead. All of them are variable. And then fixed overhead. These are deducted. The sum total of all this is 575,000 deducted. That's the gross profit. After that, we also have selling and general and administrative expenses which have two components. One is variable component, the other one is fixed component. And finally, the operating income shows here as 475,000. The question says, for the coming year, the management of Barnes Corporation anticipates a 10% increase in sales. So there are certain changes that are anticipated. Um, let's make a note of these things. So the an anticipated changes are 10% increase in sales, 12% increase in variable cost, 45,000 increase in fixed expenses. So what we have to understand from here is after we make the changes and calculate the break-even point, but before we calculate the break-even point, we do not have all the variable costs at one place or the fixed cost at one place. The variable costs are scattered here. One set of variable costs are given under the heading cost of sales. Another set of variable cost or another item of variable cost is given under selling and general and administrative overheads. Fixed cost also in a similar manner, we see that fixed cost one item here and one item here. So we need to bring them together before any changes are implemented and then we change our value if we have to look into that. First, we have to bring them together because the changes are mentioned 12% increase in variable cost. There's a percentage that has to be applied on the variable cost. And also there is an amount of 45,000 increased in fixed cost. So we need to be careful that variable costs are not only um, in, given in the question at one place, but at different places, okay? So let's first start the question with because there are three changes, multiple changes that are mentioned here in the question which have to be implemented. So let's start writing what are the changes that are anticipated. As we know, the break-even point is break-even point in terms of sales because the answers are all given in dollar value. So we, we understand that it is break-even point in sales value, else it would have been break-even point in units. So now break-even point in sales, the formula says fixed cost divided by contribution margin ratio. So before we apply that, let's look at what are the anticipated changes. There are three changes that are given. One is 10% increase in sales, 12% increase in variable cost, and fixed cost increases by 45,000. So what's the impact? What, what happens to that is what we will note down. So sales value is given as 1,500,000. It increases by 10%. So it would become 110%. Or we can also write it as 1.1. 10% increase makes it 110%. 110% is 1.1. So multiply that. Then as I have already mentioned that variable costs are at given at different places. So pull them up. 250,000, 150,000, 75,000 and also 200,000. So you bring all of them together and 250, 150, 75, and 200,000, add them up. And the anticipated changes, uh, anticipated changes increase by 12%. So increase by 12%, it becomes 112% or 1.12, which is equal to, so when we apply that rate, it becomes 756,000. Similarly, fixed costs are also given at two different places. One is 100,000, the other one is 250,000, as you can see. Okay, bring them down and then add another 45,000, which is the increase, and the fixed amount is at 395,000. So now let's start applying these uh, changed values into the formula of what is break even sales. So break even sales is fixed cost. So new fixed cost is 395,000. But we do not know what is contribution margin ratio. So let's quickly calculate what is contribution margin ratio. The formula says it is contribution margin divided by 
fields. Okay, so it's a percentage that is applied. So into 100 or just a fraction. Either way, it's perfectly fine. So now, um, what is contribution margin? So looking into that, contribution margin is sales. Sales minus the variable cost. Sales are now, it's not 1,500,000, but they are 1,650,000. Minus the variable cost is also now 756,000. It's also changed and now it is 756,000. So that becomes contribution margin divided by the sales of 1,650,000. I'm assuming with the assumption that you do know what is contribution margin. Contribution margin is equal to selling price or sales minus variable cost. Calculate that and then see what is the answer. Uh, we would have it as 1,650,000 minus 756,000 and the resultant figure is 894,000 divided by so we have it as 1,650,000 that comes to the um, value of in decimal value, we have the 0 0.5418. Okay. So now let's just apply that in the break even point formula. So break even point. Uh, break even sales is equal to. The fixed cost amount is 395,000. Just apply 395,000 here in the numerator. And uh, the contribution margin ratio, now that we have calculated, which is in decimal value of 0.5418, or you can make it into a percentage calling it as 54.18%. Either way, it's perfectly fine. So this value comes out to be 395,000 divided by 0.5418 is equal to 729 dollar value 729 okay so we have closely come to this value of um, a 729027. So the answer is the first option 729027. If we take uh, more number of digits after that, we may come very exactly or precisely to that. But otherwise, also we do not see any other value which is very close to that. This is the closest one. So we have selected it as 729027. I hope the explanation is clear. 